The link between the, the gut and the brain has been long known and uh, more recently we got interest in this link and then its role in the in the pathophysiology and the uh, pathologies of the of the brain um, there is indeed a link between what what's in the in our gut and these uh, bacteria and uh, the microbiota on its own and uh, what happens in the in the in our body uh, indeed they may represent a suitable target uh, for treatment in, uh, in epilepsy and uh, other diseases of the brain. I mean, this is uh, the very beginning of the story, above all in epilepsy. Uh, other fields of research in, uh, in neurology uh, bit, uh, been, uh, have already studied this, uh, this link a bit better than we did so far. But uh, main limitations are represented by our knowledge of what the microbiota is doing really in the gut and how it is uh, talking with the brain and now collaborating to our physiological state and possibly to our pathologies. So we really need to define the uh, parameters to define what is really normal uh, in our microbiota and uh, how to transfer what we believe is wrong and uh, to the uh, current knowledge in the clinics and then to transform this into a therapeutic target to be properly, properly um, modulated by drugs and treatments. Well, it's not easy to, to study the link between the microbiota and uh, health state. Uh, animal models, as usual, will be uh, the best suitable uh, way of studying uh, this, uh, this link. So we really need to define uh, which, is the, which are the similarities between animal models and humans and then uh, understand how to study um, this target in a suitable way and uh, uh, better define uh, which will be um, our way to intervene on this, uh, on this problem and, uh, and then define really if this is a suitable target and whether we can really modify it because it is very um, resilient in, in, in all of us and it's not easy to modify it once uh, it is set to a certain state. So what we know is there is a dysbiosis uh, in some patients which is linked to the pathology, but uh, can, we re can we really modify it? So animals will uh, help us to understand how to intervene and uh, define which are the uh, mediators as well of, uh, of the matter and then of the, their contribution to pathophysiology.